This training module is an overview of hydrograph extension by Structural Stormwater Best Management Practices, BMPs. This is training module 9.03 for the Stochastic Empirical Loading and Dilution Model, SELDOM. It was prepared by the U.S. Geological Survey in cooperation with the Federal Highway Administration. This training module has 12 slides and will take less than 9 minutes. This training module has four learning objectives. At the end of this module, you should be able to Describe the primary benefit of hydrograph extension. Discuss hydrograph extension processes. Describe the seldom approach for modeling hydrograph extension. And describe the benefits of seldom modeling for planning level analyses. Hydrograph extension increases dilution of runoff in downstream flow. The diagram on the left shows the runoff hydrograph from a basin upstream of a site of interest and two potential hydrographs from that site. The hypothetical graph on the right shows the cumulative percentage of total upstream storm flow that occurs as the storm progresses. The diagram shows two potential runoff hydrographs from a site of interest, one with a short duration, duration one, and the other with a longer duration, duration two. This longer duration hydrograph may represent the effect of design changes or use of best management practices that slow runoff flows. For example, using grassy swales to root runoff instead of sewer pipes may slow the discharge of runoff and use of a retention pond also may extend the outflow hydrograph. In this example, only 15% of upstream storm flow occurs during duration 1 and about 55% occurs during duration 2. Thus, use of drainage designs and best management practices that extend the flows from the site of interest results in increased dilution. Many BMP designs have a series of flow controls to handle different flow magnitudes. This cross-sectional diagram shows components of a pond outlet. Many designs have an extreme flow spillway to prevent structural failure and one or more high flow outlets to quickly drain water when flows are high. Water quality outlets commonly are designed to slowly drain the water to maximize contact and settling times for the water quality volume. In this diagram, the riser orifice is the high flow outlet and the low flow orifice is the water quality outlet. Multi-flow designs result in an exponential decay in retained water over time. This graph shows normalized volume on the vertical axis and normalized drain time on the horizontal axis. At brim full, the emergency spillway, riser orifice, and low flow orifice quickly drain down the pond volume. Once the water level falls below the emergency spillway, the riser orifice and low flow orifice continue to drain at a decreasing rate as the water level falls. Once the water volume drains below the riser orifice, the low flow orifice continues to drain at a decreasing rate as the water level continues to fall. Although the volume drain time graph is fairly deterministic, the flow extension is stochastic because the amount of water in the basin at the end of the inflow runoff hydrograph is determined by many random variables, including the time from the last storm, the volume and duration of precipitation, and the timing of runoff from the contributing basin. This photograph shows a detention pond with a multiple stage outlet design structure. The emergency spillway is probably designed for the 100 year design storm. The diagram shows a 25 year and a 2 year design storm outlet. The low flow outlet is not visible but is labeled as the perforated riser water quality outlet. This pond would have an outflow signature that is similar to the previous graph. Hydrograph extension by swales depends on the swale design. The length, slope, cross-section, and roughness control the overland flow. Weir flow affects the timing if there are check dams. Flow through riprap dams follows Darcy's law for groundwater flow. In each case, dewatering may occur as temporary bank storage seeps back out into the flow path as the water level recedes. If the groundwater table rises above the swale floor, then flow extension may represent the groundwater recession time. This graph shows the fitted cumulative distribution functions for the trapezoidal distributions for hydrograph extension at eight swale monitoring sites and the distribution that would occur if the median of each statistic were selected. There are large variations in fitted distributions among sites in every category. The vertical axis is the flow extension in hours on a linear scale. The horizontal axis is a probability scale indicating the percentage of storms with flow extensions that are less than or equal to the given value. The maximum values range from 0.5 to 4.75 hours for these swales. The blue lines are the distributions from data at individual sites. The yellow line is the distribution calculated by using the median of site statistics. 
This is a right skewed triangular distribution. For a swale, hydrograph extension may be a minor component of downstream dilution. This graph shows the potential effectiveness of a grassy swale for modifying downstream storm flows. The vertical axis is the dilution factor on a logarithmic scale ranging over five orders of magnitude. The dilution factor is the proportion of downstream flow that is comprised of highway runoff. A dilution factor of one occurs when there is no upstream flow, and a small dilution factor indicates that highway runoff is a small proportion of downstream flows. The dilution factor is the inverse of dilution. The horizontal axis is a probability scale indicating the percentage of storms with dilution factors that equal or exceed a given value. The white line shows the dilution factors from highway runoff without BMP treatment. The light blue line represents potential effects of stochastic hydrograph extension values from a swale that may range from 6 minutes to 3 hours. The dark blue line represents potential effects of stochastic flow reduction. The yellow line shows the dilution factors that would result if both extension and reductions are modeled. For a pond, however, hydrograph extension may be a major component of downstream dilution. This graph shows the potential effectiveness of a detention pond for modifying downstream storm flows. The vertical axis is the dilution factor on a logarithmic scale ranging over five orders of magnitude. The horizontal axis is a probability scale indicating the percentage of storms with dilution factors that equal or exceed a given value. The white line shows the dilution factors from highway runoff without BMP treatment. The light blue line represents potential effects of stochastic hydrograph extension values from a pond that may range from 0 to 18 hours. The dark blue line represents potential effects of stochastic flow reduction. The yellow line shows the dilution factors that would result if both extension and reductions are modeled. Because of hydrograph extension, the pond substantially reduces dilution factors. This graph shows the potential effectiveness of a grassy swale and a detention pond for modifying downstream storm flows. The vertical axis is the dilution factor on a logarithmic scale ranging over five orders of magnitude. The horizontal axis is a probability scale indicating the percentage of storms with dilution factors that equal or exceed a given value. The white line shows the dilution factors from highway runoff without BMP treatment. The light blue line and the yellow line show the dilution factors that would result if a pond or a swale is used. Although the swale seems to have better infiltration capacity, the pond outperforms the swale because it extends the hydrograph. This example shows how seldom modeling can inform planning level analyses and mitigation design efforts. In this module, we learned that if BMP discharge quality is worse than receiving water quality, extension dilutes the runoff. Hydraulic flow control slows the runoff and extends the outfall hydrograph. Seldom models hydrograph extensions by using the distribution of extension values with correlation to inflow volumes. And seldom can be used to explore and demonstrate the potential effects of hydrograph extension from different BMP designs.